Hey everyone, Jacefer here with Grand Prix Truck by Lego City. Set number 60025 contains 315 pieces. Recommended building ages are 5 through 12. So here we have the Grand Prix Truck and various other accessories. Here's the back of the box with the various actions. And it says that the bags are numbered for easy build. Let's take a look and see how easy of a build it is. That does not want to cut in that corner. Here we go. Lots of stuff. We have a chassis of some kind. Three numbered bags. A set of stickers. Three instruction manuals. A 6 by 16 plate, a fourth bag, so there are four bags, lots of parts. So we, before we can head to the races, we got to assemble the Grand Prix truck. So give me a few moments so we can take a closer look at everything. Now that everything has been assembled, let's take a closer look at the figures, accessories, race car, and the Grand Prix truck. First, let's take a look at the minifigures. All three torsos are printed. This gentleman on the left has a sign. It is supposed to say brake, but I choose not to put the sticker on the sign. These two gentlemen are wearing baseball hats with headphones, and those headphones can be removed from the hat. This gentleman on the right is wearing a helmet with the visor. The back of the torsos are printed as well. They are a nice set of minifigures. The Grand Prix truck comes with a lot of accessories, such as a spare tire, tool chest, cross iron, electric drill, radio, oiling can, opened end wrench, closed end wrench, flathead screwdriver, hammer, and ratchet. The tool chest drawers do open up. Let's set some tools inside the chest. It's never a good idea to leave tools laying on the floor. Let's put the wrenches in the bottom drawer. I think I overflowed the drawer with two tools. That's one way to put them in. Let's put the oiling can on the side. And the rest of the tools we can just stash in the front compartment of the trailer. And I will show that in a bit. Here we have the race car. Nice color scheme with black, red, white and green. The race car has some print work that I choose not to put on. It is nice construction. The rear spoiler. 
The interior consists of just a steering wheel. Here we have a small wind visor or windshield. Let's place our race car driver inside. He just sits inside. He doesn't go down all the way. Or if he does, he's leaning forward, possibly because his helmet is hitting the back of the car. But it's quite all right. Looks like he's driving fast. It does roll smooth on a flat surface. Now he's ready to join the races. Here we have the truck. Nice color scheme with the white, red, and green. Nice front bumper and grill. Nice use of the friction plates to attach the side mirrors. The truck does feature driver and passenger doors that do open up. Here's the rear. It looks like this truck is missing an extra set of axles. Not sure why it was left out. Top of the cab does open up. Sometimes the mirrors do come off. So here's the interior with just a steering wheel. It does seat one minifigure, possibly two. Let's place this gentleman inside. He does seat comfortably, even with the headphones on. Moving on to the trailer. <laughs> Looks like something's missing to level out the trailer. Nice color scheme with white, red, and green. Here we have a set of doors that do open up for access into the front compartment. This will come in handy to store tools. Here we have the rear. This hatch does open up. Not much of a ramp. I will show that in a bit. Here's the other side of the trailer. Another set of doors. Let's attach the trailer to the truck. It just sets in place. Let's put the tools in the front compartment. We don't want to forget our tools. Or the spare tire. That walkie-talkie just did not want to go inside. There should have been a tool rack attached to the door. Instead of just throwing the tools inside the compartment. This truck does have a lot of tools. Great for fixing the race car. Well, let's just throw everything in there and close the doors real quick so nothing falls out. This compartment does open up does swing out of the way. Great access for the race car. Let's park the race car inside the trailer. As you can see, it doesn't quite go up the ramp. So you have to help the race car park inside. The back does close up all the way, as well as the access door on the side you can see. Plenty of room for the car. It is easily removable. This top piece can also come off, but it does take off some of the other pieces, so I advise leaving this on. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be removable or not. 
Let's take a closer look at how the car goes inside. Have to help it up the ramp again. But it does park all the way. Everything closes up nice. It does glide smooth on a flat surface. Have to be careful not to jackknife. Now we're ready to head off to the races. Let's take a quick look at these spare pieces. There are a few studs, slopes, plates, an extra visor, and an extra shaft. These pieces may come in handy for other LEGO creations. Off to the right we have the print work. It says Octon Racing. Extreme. I choose not to put these elements on my Grand Prix truck as I will be reusing the elements for other LEGO creations. And this wraps up the review for Grand Prix Truck by LEGO City, set number 60025. It is one awesome set. It comes with three figures, accessories, as well as parts to build the race car and the Grand Prix Truck. The only downside with this set is stickers. The elements should have been printed. But other than that, it is a fun set, fully playable, and it'll work perfect for any LEGO City theme. Thank you for watching.